a Levy 488 that was found by one of our uh, technical teams who happened to uh, decide they need to go check on the performance of that levy from a previous armoring we had done due to a scar. And at uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, we found a serious problem. Yeah, L-488 uh, is one of our federal levy systems in southern Holt County. Um, this flood event was very hard on the levy systems throughout Holt County. Uh, uh, L-497, which is a federal levy system just upstream, and L-488 are the only two levy systems that have not been overtopped or breached uh, in that entire uh, county's floodplain. This, this area through here caught our eye. There was some suspicious looking eddies in there that we decided we should watch. And sure enough, about two and a half weeks ago, we found a bank failure right on the other side of that truck over there. And there was a humongous eddy and vortex. <coughs> we had to fit, do a whole lot of emergency repairs. What it ultimately was was a very large, I'll say about a 40 foot deep scour hole at the riverward toe of the L488 levee. That scour led to sloughing of the riverside slope and a near breach of that levee. Those extraordinary steps included uh, sending a, a survey vessel uh, that had multi beam. Uh, sonar on it to, to develop a picture of what the scour looked like, to tell us how the scour was encroaching upon the toe, uh, to also determine if the measures that we were taking uh, were having a positive effect on uh, decreasing those velocities and were we checking the scour. And uh, I think we put over 14,000 tons of quarry run stone uh, on that levee system here in the last couple weeks. However, due to that inspection uh, late in the evening, and due to the, um, the, uh, the spirit and the attitude and the response of all those folks involved, contracting, uh, engineering, uh, the battle captains, we were able to get rock started within hours. And we've constructed some fairly significant uh, hard points or dikes that protrude perpendicular to the levee slope uh, that have allowed us to push the velocities away from the tow and back towards the river but we are keeping it pushed out away from the levee and as the river goes down, things will get better and better. We're not gonna lose this levee because we're doing something. If we hadn't done, if we hadn't done anything, we could have lost it three times already. So that's where we are and we're staying on top of it. At Levee 488, it's a fight. It's a fight with the river right now and uh, some days the river's winning, and some days we're able to fend it off. But I'm telling you, if not for the uh, professionalism and the dedication of our employees out there and the team that we have at Kansas City District, we would not be able to uh, defend uh, this levee system the way that we are.